Okay, so we're going to talk about um, if we have an element that goes into the F block, um, how do we write that electron configuration? Um, and then we're also going to talk about abbreviated electron configuration. So um, if we have, let's say we have an element um, like uh, right here. Let's say we're talking about this element right here. This is number 59, okay, or 58, depending on which periodic table you're looking at. Um, so we know that it's in the 4F. Well, these two rows actually fit right here between the 6S, 5D, 7S, 6D. Um, so we could actually like pull this periodic table apart and squeeze this right in here in between these two sections. Um, we do it like this because to make the periodic table be able to fit on a page of paper, a piece of paper. So uh, if we if we put them there, it would make it really long. All the boxes would be really tiny. So it's more out of convenience and um, just kind of practicality than any other reason. Um, so if we we want to go there um, again. This is. PR, okay. Then um, we always start back here with 1s. So we're going to go 1s2, and then 2s2, 2p6. So this is what we were doing yesterday. 3s2, 3p6. That takes us here. 3p6, 4s2 to here. And we're going to D, and that's one less, so 3D10, then back to 4P, so 4P6, 5S2, 4D10, then 5P6. Okay, so now, now we're on the 6 energy level, so then we go 6S2. Okay, then once you get through the 6S, we're going to drop down to 4F. Okay, so it goes 6s and then 4f. And if you look on a periodic table that has the atomic numbers, you'll notice that there's a jump here between these two elements where it skips some numbers because those numbers are right here. Okay, so 6s and then we're going to go 4f12. So 4f2. And that would be where you stop. Okay, so 4f2 because that's, that's the element that we're looking for. All right. Um, now, if we had to keep on going, so once if I'm if I just kind of go along, so we're going to go six s to if I wanted to keep continue going, then we go four f and the f can hold up to fourteen, so it'd be four f fourteen. Then after the f, we we end here, so then we go back up to five d. So this would be five d ten. And then 6P6, and then 7S2, 5F14, because 7S, then 5F, and then um, 6D10, and then the final thing you should have is 7P6. So if we were going all the way here, we would end at 7P6. Okay, so in these last two rows, it goes SFDP, SFDP, as far as the order of those orbitals. Okay. Now, hopefully you've noticed that there is kind of a pattern, and it kind of repeats itself over and over and over again um, as you do these. So um, there's a way in order to kind of minimize us having to write out everything. Um, there's a way that we actually can abbreviate this, okay, and it's called the abbreviated electron configuration um, And it makes things a lot easier. We don't have to write every single orbital out um, And what we use are the noble gases, which is group 18 Okay, so here's the thing if we pick an element, let's say we have um, Oh, I don't know cobalt 
Cobalt is number 27. Um, and it's like right here. Okay. This is Cobalt's number 27. Okay. Um, if I wanted to write out its electron configuration, it would be 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, and then 3d, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 3d7. Okay. Well, what we can do instead of writing all that out is we can, from cobalt, we can go back to the previous noble gas, so the noble gas before it. So if we go back and we go to here, that's the previous noble gas. Remember, these are the noble gases. So the noble gas that's in the third period is argon. Okay. So we can write argon. Okay. And we put argon in brackets. Okay. Well, what that means is, if you look at cobalt's atomic, I mean, uh, electron configuration, this right here is the same exact electron configuration that argon has. If you notice, argon ends at the in 3p6, so it ends right there. So basically what we're saying is, cobalt has the same electron configuration as argon, plus these. So what we do is we put argon in brackets and then we write whatever is after argon. So start from 4s2 and then go to go to cobalt. So all we would write is argon 4s2 3d7. Okay. Um, let's try another one. What about if we do um, Let's say we have iodine. Iodine, which is number 53 on the periodic table. It's in the fifth row. It's like right here. Okay. This is iodine. So if we go back to the previous noble gas, so the previous noble gas would be the one that's in the fourth row which would be Krypton. So we write Krypton. And then we start from the next row. So Krypton ends in the fourth row. So we go to 5s2. And then we're going to go 4d10. And then 5p1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. So you always start back at the previous noble gas and then go from there. Now, if you're trying to do the abbreviated form for a noble gas, you would go back up to the previous one and then write out there. You can't just put the noble gas in brackets. Okay, I hope this helps and let me know if you have any questions.